working on the weekends like usual. Okay, here we go. All right. We should have like an intro music, kind of like the shop. I guess I just wanted to talk about starting over and how I always feel like we're starting over. I feel like we're always starting over. <laughs> it does. Oftentimes it feels like I'm not getting anywhere. I guess as I sat with it a little bit more, I started to see it a little bit differently in that, I mean, I guess it feels like starting over, but it's more like a fresh start mm -hmm. um, with all these experiences behind you. So you're kind of in a different place. Mm -hmm. I guess it's like, I don't know, for me, it feels like the nature of growing. Mm -hmm. Just always feeling like you're starting over from a new place though. So I've been trying to challenge myself to see it differently. It just always feels like I can never get too comfortable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's been with homeschool, with business, with YouTube. Um, I think it's just been a constant. Yeah. A constant ever since homeschool. I have just learned over this time to just kind of remain like pliable, just remain flexible. Yeah. I've started to learn just, Serena has these different ideas these different things pop up because I am kind of more regimented. I get a system and that is it. Like we don't need to revisit it. We don't need to <laughs> adjust as often. And Serena, she likes to have meetings and she has an idea and she has, has another idea. And she has these ideas. And over the years, I've, from her ideas, I've seen that the changes have been good. And at least in the kids, they've always produced fruit like the kids have always responded well to them there's always been a good outcome and you can tell that okay this this was a good change so from that i've learned to just follow her lead on the, the home school and whatever she feels that is best for the kids that works best for them best for their routine and just try to find out where i can fit into that and support i get points yeah <laughs> but wait so you always feel like we're starting over too yeah <laughs> Always some change. Yeah. And that was like one thing I was a little bit nervous about with um, starting in unschool. I just felt like, I just felt like we get to really good places and then I'm always shaking things up. Mm. But I have seen that it has made us a lot more flexible, which is good fruit. But now moving into unschool, I was like really nervous. <laughs> like really, really nervous to bring something to you guys. Again, that was different when I feel like we had just gotten comfortable with being like, Legit so I don't homeschool know what an school is. <laughs> yeah. None of us know what an unschool yeah, is. So. Unschool is basically living in life before school came into the picture, I guess. Like, nobody goes to school to learn how to walk. Yeah, I guess. No. Okay. It's not registering. <laughs> I'm flexible. Okay. Find well, out where I fit in and then how I can help. I appreciate that. I guess we're starting over again, but... In Philippians, Paul said, I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. Mm -hmm. Just looking at it with a different lens, I'm just like, okay, it's more like a fresh start and not starting from square one. I guess I was also feeling this way because um, I have things to share on our Instagram and I have a personal Instagram and then I have our Falco family Instagram and that was really... That was really important for me to separate them. I know Brian was probably like, why? Why are you doing this? <laughs> because I have a larger um, following, which y'all know I don't really care about. But at the same time, I really do care about because I care about the people behind the numbers. But um, I guess it's, it always kind of gets to me because I'm like, I know I have these people over here on my personal page. But I'm trying to build um, the Falco family page. And a lot of times that can kind of be a barrier or a block for me because, again, it just feels like you're starting over. Like you have a certain number or amount here and now you're starting over from square one. But really you're not because our Falco family Instagram is a lot more focused. Like, um, And so I'm just trying to remember that that scripture and what Paul said about focusing on this one thing mm -hmm. that we're forgetting the past and looking ahead. So I guess that's what I'm trying to do is to shift my to shift my attentions and say, okay, Serena, you're not starting from square one. You're just getting a fresh start from a more rooted place. A change in the less. What that is. <laughs> okay, so yeah, another change. But being flexible is good. 
we've established yeah. that. This devotion was actually really good. I think I've read it like 18 times. This is in, it's actually in Cameron's uh, devotion that he reads in the morning. And it talks about the power of focusing um, and how it can be seen in light and that diffused light shines in all directions. But when you focus the light, it becomes all the more uh, powerful, like a laser beam. It can cut through steel. It goes on to say nothing is quite as powerful as someone with a focused light. And that's what we want, mm -hmm. right? And then it says, if you want your life to have power, focus it on God's purpose for you. You can be busy without a purpose, but what's the point? Do only activities that matter the most. So I feel like that's where we are right now in family life. That's been what I've been trying to identify like in the kids. Like what are their what are their things that they're really, really interested in instead of, instead of having them in a ton of different activities? What are they really in what is they really starting to pique their interest but trying to identify what are those things for the kids? Yeah. And how can we help them, whatever it's extra yeah. tutoring, extra resources, extra coaching, whatever those things may be. And doing only activities that matter the most. I feel like that is what this unschooled transition is about. Just only doing activities and participating in studies that matter the most that will lead us ahead in our individual purposes and our purpose together as a family that makes more sense right it does i mean it, it's still an adjustment it's still <laughs> you know, okay it's different. i'll take that it's an adjustment for me too i do feel like you know when you're the head of something an idea in the family, like, you really just have to kind of own it and minimize any place for doubts that you might have so that you can actually see what would come of it. I feel like that's our role a lot of times as homeschool moms is we take on that, that job. I mean, that's a job about learning of homeschool and uh, learning of the different methods and learning of the kids and then bringing this information to the family as a whole and saying, hey, I have this idea. Let's try this. I don't know. Anything else you want to say? I guess I just wanted to document this. Just, you know, forge you through that feeling of starting over. I want you to say more. I don't want it to seem like um, I'm just talking a lot. I'm just happy that you're back here with me. I'm happy to be here. I've been trying to help where I try to fit in with this is the reading. And then I'm helping Kendall and Cameron with the uh, math. So we're like on fifth grade math. Is on. Now my goal is to bring math back to life, to just really focus on the math in our everyday life and um, attempting to strengthen that area. But he has a harder time letting go um, the typical math practice. So we're letting him hold on to that. <laughs> so we'll just let him hold on to that until he sees that, you know, learns to trust the process a bit more. I think it's all going to be an adjustment for us. We can't just jump right into, you know, unschooling or whatever and expect it to be this one way. It's just a lot of changes and adjustments to figuring out what works for us. Mm -hmm. And if that means um, allowing time for him to work on math with them such that he feels a bit more comfortable, then I think that's good and it'll produce good fruit. Um, because ultimately it's the relationship they're spending time together and working through things together. So, I'm good. Because you know how we can be extra, like, and we get something in our minds and like, okay, it has to be this way. And then if your spouse is not on board fully, or if your kid is not on board fully, then you kind of want to flip out and be like, no, this is not the way that it's mm -hmm. supposed to be. But you have to let that go and just be flexible and pliable, like you said. It makes me comfortable to see the day is going in a certain flow consistently yeah. every day. So if something's off one day and they're kind of not on the page that I expect them to be on <laughs> or where in the day, it's kind of like a side eye, like, what is going on? Like, what are y'all doing here? Like, isn't it time for y'all to be on? And, you know. Uh, and we're working through that. The goal is to give them space to be bored and to figure it out and that space can be uncomfortable for us so it's just another area where you're learning to sit in that discomfort because you believe that um, something good is going to come of it I just wanted to talk about that about always feeling like we're starting over but we just have to settle in our hearts and minds and know that you know it's a fresh start like I'm excited about unschool and the tour and we're adjusting and changing again with yeah. the tour 
um, with current state of affairs and that's okay because each time we're learning how to be more and more flexible and find the beauty in it all and that's what life is about so these are lessons you know I need to learn they need to learn with us yeah because life is full of lessons so we live and we learn mm -hmm. I didn't know what's going on there. you didn't know no. you didn't want to do it with me <laughs> okay that's it <laughs>